Uh, this is my second year mm -hmm. at the AS. Uh, I would be working a third year, but I'm graduating, so I will be out of the school. Yeah, for both years, I've worked the same job as news and public affairs director. So, I think not just Cubs in general, but the AS and all the jobs here. I think what ultimately made me stay is that once I got this job, they sat you down, sat you down at your spot, and they said, "Okay, now you, I, you do this." We're gonna let you be in charge of this. Um, you're not working for someone else. You're the only person doing your job. And in a lot of workforce, there's this just mentality, you know, where the new people come in and you have to do the grunt work, you know, or they don't necessarily trust you. Here, you come in, you get a job, you work for yourself, and you are the only person doing that thing. And it's this inherent trust they have with students to know that they can be professionals. And you don't find that in other workplaces, so I think that's ultimately what made me say, okay, I'm, I'm going to keep working here. <laughs> On a larger level, I'm most proud of being able to be in charge of providing an alternative source of news on campus, and knowing that the programs we have are my decisions, um, and they're very big decisions, and they're really scary decisions, but the product of that decision is something to be really proud of, I think. And it's also just really proud on a selfish level to do an interview with someone for a story that I make and then see that person also get interviewed on BBC or in Democracy Now! And I go, oh, yeah, I'm a professional, I guess. You know, I'm interviewing these big people. And that's a really proud thing. And that's something when I leave here, I can be like, I did this. <laughs> I would think just apply for jobs that you think you aren't qualified for. Um, and even jobs you don't think you necessarily want to do with your life. I didn't know I wanted to get into radio, but now I'm here and I've flourished. And for a lot of people, they don't apply because they think, I don't know enough to do that. But a lot of people have a lot of potential that they don't realize until they're sat down and told to do something and have the ability to do that thing. Um, I never knew I could be a professional at a desk every day um, until I had the opportunity to do so. Students go to class every day and they're told what to think or they're being taught something or they go to their job and they're being told to do this thing for this person. So I think all that being combined makes people think that they don't have that potential or they're not able to do something. And when you come to a job like this and you're told, now you're in charge, do what you think is best, then people are allowed to flourish and actually be able to do what they're capable of doing. I think in Way one, because it's made me really passionate about it. The way two, I've spent the last two years doing this, so it's kind of the only thing I'm qualified for, <laughs> in my opinion, which is really weird. So I think it's a combination of circumstance and being passionate about it. Um, there's a lot of things I really love about radio, and there's a lot of things I really want to change about radio, and there's a lot of lack of youth in radio, and those three things combined make me want to go out there and I don't think I've ever been so respected as a professional and as an individual in this field and I think I'm going to be disappointed when I leave here. I go into the professional, the real professional world and they say, okay, now do, go do this thing for me. Like, go set up this interview that I'm going to do, you know, and it's going to disappoint me because I go, I no, I've, I've done interviews, like, I've been in this position where I'm doing what you do, let me have access to what you do. Um, so in some ways, this is like a pseudo-professional job, where students can say, okay, you can have a glimpse of the professional world, which will help you go into the real professional world. But in some ways, when students get this job, it's like, I'm a professional. Then when they come to the real market, they kind of go downward and say, now I'm, I'm working for a professional, until they get up to the professional point. Mm -hmm. So it's a really great opportunity, but it's also, <laughs> I don't know, for me, I think it's going to create unrealistic ideals of what I'm be able to do after this. Not to say that it's not preparing me, because obviously it is, but it's making my expectations really high. <laughs>